Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with BandLab. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the amazing creative potential of MIDI files, what they are and how to use them effectively in BandLab to take your music to the next level, plus how you can get hold of a completely unique MIDI and audio loop pack, which includes bass riffs, melodies, beats and chord progressions that you won't find anywhere else enabling you to put together great sounding tunes like this. If you're ready, let's get started. So what is a MIDI file and why should you be using them? Let's get the geeky bit out of the way. Well, it's a set of instructions for your computer telling it what to do when it receives MIDI data. These instructions can include many things, but perhaps most importantly, it will dictate what note to play, how hard to play that note, and how long to hold the note. So what's all the fuss about? Well, one major advantage of working with MIDI is that it's so flexible. Once you've created or sent MIDI data, it can be transferred or edited with a few mouse clicks. So for example, I can drop a MIDI file into BandLab and quickly and easily change how it sounds. Let's have a go. Here are some example MIDI files from the Inclusive Music EDM Classic Loop Pack. Let's take this one, copy it, and put it onto the Electro Pop Kit track. Right click and set cycle to selection and play. Double click it. In the MIDI editor we can see the MIDI information. And if we click the symbols down here, we realize that these blocks represent the kick drum. Here is the open hi-hat. And here is a tambourine. So the exciting thing about MIDI files is the ability to edit them. Let's select all these hi-hats. Now with the page down arrow key, we can move them to another sound. So now they're on the closed hi-hat. So for example, if we like that loop, we could copy it. Right click, copy. Let's say we want it here on bar 5, right click, paste. And now we've got two beats, exactly the same, so let's go back to the original and move it up. If we listen to both of those now, let's extend the cycle. So let's get a little bit more experimental. Let's take this beat, copy it once more, put it to bar nine and paste. Zoom in a bit and select those hi-hats, move them down. As you can see here, there's no sound at the moment, only the white ones indicate the sound. So there's a high tom. Let's have a listen to that. And 
once again, right click, set cycle to selection and play. You can begin to see what creative fun we can have. How about we exchange this note, take it down to the mid tom, and then how about this one going down to the low tom. How about we add some notes or add some instruments? How about the clap? If I double click, in it goes. Now that's taken up a whole bar from nine to 10. And we can only move that to every bar because the grid has been set to bar. We go to view, grid size, bar. Let's go to smart for the time being. And now you can see the grid has been divided up into smaller parts. This makes it easier to move. Copy that, control C, and let's put it there, control V. Let's move it along, not quite in the right place yet. Let's take a kick drum, control C, control V. And if we change the grid again, view, grid size, one quarter, these divisions become larger. Now let's get really experimental and select them all and move them. grid, make the grid a little bit smaller, now eight, eight divisions, and I'll move them to the next grid line, Remember, this is where we started. Set cycle to select and play. So let's try another example with a chord file. Let's click on here and let's have a minor chord 7. Double click, solo. Let's try changing some of these notes to play at a different time.
let's select all, control A, and then control C, copy, and control V, paste. And now, So what I've done is copy the chords and put them up an octave or 12 semitones which makes the chords being played low and high. Let's take these lower notes copy them, control C, paste them and then drag them down an octave. And what we could do is copy these bass notes and put them onto another track and then add a bass synth. So instead of playing the piano, they would play a proper bass sound or a bass synth. Another example of using MIDI data is to add a drum machine. Let's go to add track, drum machine. Let's play this beat. And now we can randomly add notes. So you can begin to see the versatility of using MIDI data. This is the 808 kit, but I can also change it. Same beat, different kit. Let's go over to here and let's go to a hip hop kit. Let's try a hard rock kit. Not only have we got drum kits, we've got pad kits. So let's try an electro pop kit. Techno brute kit. You can see how dramatically by changing the kit or the sound used the beat changes and we can get some really creative ideas like this. Let's take this one step further. I'm going to add a creator kit. Add track, instruments, piano, creator kits. These are interesting because they're sampled sounds. And let's choose Black Noise House. So I'm going to copy the EDM Beat 9 here. 
copy go down to this new track paste and bring it down to bar one let's have a listen it's now playing the black noise house kit Let's try a few more. Classic hip hop. So we're really experimenting now. This is not an EDM style drum kit, but we're going to experiment, see what it sounds like. Let's try dubstep. Ethereal Techno. House. Latin House. Lo-Fi Dreams. And I think the exciting thing about experimenting like this is you can come across sounds and kits that you would never imagine using and once you try them you get some new creative ideas. Modern breakbeat. Old school breakbeat. Organic pop. Let's say I didn't like that brass. Double click. Find out where it is. Okay, so let's delete them. And I can see on this track there are some notes not playing at the moment. The white notes is where the sounds are and the blacked out or greyed notes, you can't hear them. So if I drag, let's say those couple, bring them down. Let's try Party Pop. R&B. Synth Pop. Tropical House. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and been inspired to get hold of some MIDI files and explore the incredible potential that they have in creative music making. And if you'd like to get a great bunch of MIDI and audio loops to give you that supercharged head start, then click on the information in the description below and take advantage of the early bird 70% off special deal we're offering right now on the inclusive music EDM classic loop pack. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell to ensure you don't miss any future videos. In the meantime, stay calm, stay safe and keep making music. <laughs>